let's go through a few of these simple gas law problems. So the first one, we have a sample of gas has an initial volume of 13.9 liters and pressure. Here we have a new volume, we wanna know the pressure. All right, hopefully you can remember this is Boyle's law. And so we use P1V1 equals P2V2. Now, if you wanna go ahead and rearrange that algebraically, that's fine. Just make sure you pair these up correctly. So there's our initial ones. And as long as the units are the same, so liters and liters, atmospheres and atmospheres, uh, you don't have to do any conversions. So our second pressure, we don't know. That's what we're solving for. V2, 10.3 liters. It's just a matter of cross multiplying and dividing to solve the proportion here. So 1.22 times 13.9 divided by 10.3. So here, uh, let's round 1.65. Next, we have a syringe that contains 1.55 milliliters of oxygen, and we're cooling it from 95.3 degrees Celsius to zero, and we wanna know what the final volume is. Okay, so this is a Charles Law, and you can do it in whichever way you want, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Again, the units will be, um, a volume don't have to be in liters. Now, what do we know about gas laws and temperature? We always, always, no exceptions, must be in Kelvin. Negative temperatures are not allowed. So let's make the conversion. Uh, 95.3 plus 273, 368.3, and 273. Okay, so make sure you convert to Kelvin. That's an easy way to mess, mess things up. All right, so our first volume is 1.55 milliliters at this temperature, 368.3 Kelvins. We don't know what our second volume is, but we do know we're at 273 Kelvin. Otherwise, you do this, you cross multiply and you get zero. We do not have a final volume of zero, so don't do that. Okay, cross multiply, 1.55 times 273. Divide by 368.3. All right, so temperature went down and volume went down. Good, 1.15 milliliters. All right. Now let's look at this next one. A balloon contains this many moles. Here's its volume. And we want to add some more moles and we want to know the new volume. But here we have, we're maintaining the same. So this is an Avogadro's law. So here we're going to have V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. So as one goes up, the other goes up. As one goes down, the other goes down. Here we're adding gas. So moles are going up, so volume should go up. Let's see what happens. Our first volume is 2.46 liters. We start out with 0 0.158 moles. Now, we don't know what our final volume is. Now be careful here, because we're adding this much. This is not N2. You gotta do a little bit of math. Read the question. It's a word problem, so 0 0.271 moles. All right, so you gotta add those together. So 0 0.271 times 2.46 divide by 0.158. Okay, so hopefully you got an answer that says V2 is somewhere around 4.22 liters.